all right guys welcome 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 to gusto news once again thank you so much for always liking for sharing subscribing for telling every one of your friends about gusto tv thank you so 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 much please keep liking sharing subscribing telling everyone that cares to listen that this is the best and the hottest hot hot spot for the very best of entertainment news and much more yes today on the news we have something for you about the OBO himself, David O. Yes, the Stiwa Save. There's also the Odogo himself, Damini Ebolua Ogulu, aka Bonaboy, the man that is twice as tall. Yes, all of that and many more will bring to you in a bit. Do not stay off, stay safe, and I'll be back. Welcome back. So we start the news today with Obio Baba Imade Baba Eli Baba Ifai Okochioma. David himself is on a roll right now. I mean, everyone expecting that particular A Better Time album. David has said is said to drop it as it is hot already. Fame, topping numbers, Apple Music everywhere. I mean, it came down a bit, back up again. I mean. Like say it never left. Sharp sharp. Femme is currently still trending on all platforms. YouTube, breaking records, on Billboard, everywhere. Davido is currently the talk of town. And of course, the guy has said, guys, 17 major tracks, 16 new songs, plus Femme, I'm ready to drop this album. Maybe after Whiskey, I'm going to give it to you guys as E Day Hot. Yes. That's what David has said. Anyways, David o is currently in a very, very bullish mode right now. Now, some days ago, he said, guys, I beg, I did not slap Rema at all. Don't put me in trouble. Perizzi also came out to say, no, I was not even there at all. So David o moved on from that. And in a very, very recent explosive interview, David o has revealed something really, really amazing. Now, we know that David o is a major, major, major guy when it comes to doling out the money this guy is super rich yes one of the richest artists in africa that is the video now the video has said guys do not think that this money thing is what is making me stay in music yes the video when asked by ibuka in a recent interview for bounce radio live said guys ibuka said what exactly you know does it do in music the money and everything he said guys i don't hate anybody that's why I don't hate on anybody. My brothers and sisters are richer than me. If not for this music thing, I'll be working in my father's companies. We have a lot of power plants and everything. I would have become, you know, I'll have become like a billionaire. And not a billionaire in Naira, a billionaire in dollars. So David O has said he rejected all those billions of dollars because of the love for music right now. Guys, that is a massive, massive revelation. Yes, he did a tweet about that particular video saying this you know that particular interview is one of his most detailed and explosive interviews in a long time David was saying guys i rejected billions of dollars from my father's company because i want to stay in this music game i want to create a record create a legacy create something for the upcoming creative to benefit from and that's what David is currently saying David has said guys i'm laying my life down for you guys this music thing if now money they motivate me. I'll be working in my father's company making billions of dollars, guys. How true is that? Anyways, David O has said his own truth. We cannot fault him for that. Of course, we are ready for the A Better Time album dropping very, very, very soon. We can't wait for that fire. Nicki Minaj, that is the track I'm particularly waiting for. Moving on to Bonner Boy, the man that is twice as tall. Yes, Bonner Boy is always in the news either for the good reason or for the bad reason now we know that bonaboy currently has one of the hottest albums out there with twice as tall 15 major tracks monsters you made video came out everybody loved it bonaboy is currently one of the major major topics online at the moment now apart from the fact that bonaboy is a very good artist a lot of the time Bonaboy has said he wants to use his music to liberate Africa, to pass a message. Didi actually came out to say this album, recent album, I co-produced, yes, I'm, like I was an executive producer on the album. This album is going to make Bonaboy, Didi said that's the album of the year 
and of course Bona was trying to pass the African message out there to the guys in the Western world said guys Bona boy is truly the African giant the man that is twice as tall Bona boy's music for a long time people have said oh he copies Fela he does this he does that he does this like there's been a whole lot of comparison between Bona boy and of course Fela in terms of the music the lyrics and of course the delivery Bona boy is currently one of the major faces of Afrobeat out there from Nigeria, from Africa to the world. Now, Omoyele Shiwure, Sarah Reporters, who, uh, like the boss actually, who has been, you know, embroiled in a lot of controversy with the federal government, came and called out Bonaboy. I said, Bonaboy, please come out. I've been seeing a lot of tweets, I've heard a lot about you being the voice of the people, being the guy who you know who does music to liberate the people, come out and let us match together. Now, Bonner Boy has actually responded, you know, to uh, Shiwari and said, Guy, I know day for that game at all. Please leave me out of your plans. I don't trust you, politicians, and everything. Now, that is one news. The other one is that Bonner Boy himself, because of that, has actually gotten into trouble with a lot of people online at the moment. A lot of dragging, turning Bonner Boy to a tiger generator. Tired dragging him, say, Omo, you. Today, we must drag you tired. You think that you can talk the talk and not walk the talk? No way. You have to talk the talk and walk the walk. There's no how you're going to sing music about liberation, sing music about monsters you made, about African you know, freedom and everything. And then when it comes to actually leading the protest, you are going to check it out. Don't be like those ones that have checked out before. It was dragged and dragged and dragged on social media saying it's the man that is twice as scared. Someone said, someone said he left London because of trouble and came to Nigeria. When the Mr. 2K issue also happened, he ran to Ghana. Bonaboy always running away from trouble. But then when he talks, he's, you know, it sounds like a man or he seems like a man who is ready to face the fears. But of course, people have said Bonaboy is twice as scared, twice as afraid, twice as you know, a chicken. Basically calling him all sorts of names. Bonaboy currently in hot water with the fans right now because of that statement of him saying, guys, I'm not going to join the protest, but when it comes to the talk, I'm going to continue to talk. I mean, now waiting, some people know how to do with that. Some people know how to talk. Some people know how to do. So he, I said, I'm not talk and do. I will talk, but I will not do. Why some people do, let us continue to do the talking. That's what Bonaboy is currently saying right now. And of course, the fans are still dragging him, even drag files into the matter. You know, when it comes to protests, Nigeria, independence, protest, whatever, liberation, Faust is always in the mix because of his, um, you know, because of his reputation for being one of the voices of the masses when it comes to facing the federal government of Nigeria and any other thing at all. But yes, of course, Faust and Banner Boy currently, you know, embroiled in those kind of, you know, one or two bars goes on Twitter. We hope this is going to end because, of course, independence is coming. Yes, and we want to wish Nigeria all the very best as she clocks 60 years of not eight, yes, 60 years old. We don't the older, but of course, we will be fine. Finally, Tiwa Save, Mama Jam Jam has caused a lot of kasala at the moment, a lot of trouble because she just did something really, really surprising. Now, Tiwa Savage, as we all know, drop the Celia album, Temptation with Sam Smith, you know, the um, song with Davido as well, yes, that one only with Naramali as well, everyone has been hailing Tiwa Savage, then there was talk about Whiskey, you know, uh, leaving you know, himself out of Tiwa Savage's album, Tiwa hailing Naramali and Davido and not hailing Whiskey. she's been embroiled in that battle already, and people have been saying, you know what, just let Tiwa Savage be. Now, one of the major guys, one of the major people who actually supported Tiwa Savage during this album launch were the Titans. Tatas fans came through for Tiwa Savage, doing tweets, doing a lot of support. In fact, Tiwa Savage was surprised with a cilia cake by Tatcha and Titans took up the case and of course spread it all over. The love between Tiwa Savage and Tatcha was very evident. Of course, everyone loved the cismans, not the bromance now. <laughs> the cismans between the both of them. Yes, Tiwa Sabi and Tatcha are really, really cool, but begay don't happen. Now, Titans are really, really, in a way, disappointed, upset, or something because 
their arch rival, their arch enemy, Messi AK, actually clocked 27 some hours ago. She had a major, major party. Erika, Kidwaya, you know, the kids, Rika, the thing. Everyone came through. And of course, one person who came through to support Messi's birthday is none other than the Titans ambassador, the Titans closest ally. Tiwa Savage came to Messi AK's birthday party to surprise her. Now, a lot of people were happy about that. Yet yeah, the mercenaries, Messi's fans were so happy, so excited. Oh, yes, the queen herself is here. Tiwa Savage, yes, Messi AK, everyone excited about that one. But Titans came on Twitter and said, Ah, no, now. Ah, uh -uh, Tiwa Savage. You know, supposed to be you now. Uh uh, you be our person now. Why you can't they go another camp, go the that kind of thing? No, 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 no. We love you, but ah, uh, more your forehand and everything. See what Savage is in some sort of trouble with Titans right now. Of course, Tacha has not come out to make any comment. Maybe she will make, maybe she will make, but of course, Tacha's fans are really, really, really upset with the fact that Siwa Savage, who is a very well known ally to the Titans and Tacha, would go to another, you know, rival's birthday party all in the name of trying to say, you know what, I'm for nobody, I'm for everybody. That is what Tiva Savage has just proven. But of course, we know that this case is going to be resolved like very, very soon. Yes, Messi is 27 years old. Yes, clock 27 years old. People are saying, ah, 27, well, I beg. But of course, who are we to say she's 32 or 35 or 40? She has said she's 27. And of course, that is what we are, we, we will believe. That's what we're going to believe. Yes. Happy, happy belated birthday to Messi Lambo. Yes, a Range Rover came through for her as well. I mean, there's a whole lot of talk on that Range Rover thing, Sha. Yeah, but then, uh, you know, that one and this we see, we know if we talk for here. You know, this kind of car, rental, six months and everything. Carry, return. I mean, there's been a whole lot of that particular thing. As long as you don't get accident, eh? You can return after six months. That is what we had. Eh? But details on that. I know they talk with guys. Thank you so much for being there with us all the time. Thank you. It's been Gusto News. Thank you so much for always liking and sharing, subscribing, telling everyone, your friends, your family, your relatives, please continue to stay safe out there. COVID is still very real and very, you know, um, still spreading. People are still dying. Please protect yourself. Be responsible for yourself, for your family, for everyone. We love you and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.